Oh, you'll just keep resting forever if you don't actually click on something. Right. Um, they didn't really use any food. This is good. So, we've got a choice of ways here. real preference, so let's try this way. Ah. One brass key. And a lever. Hmm. Suspicious levers. Tar bead. What is a tar bead? Rare herb that grows in the swamps. Potent healing properties. We do have healing stuff. Don't I have another something like that somewhere? I thought I had something else floating around that said it had healing pro properties. Ah, another tar bead. Okay. I'll make sure that the, the wizard is carrying them. I can hand them out as necessary. So I do have something I can chew on if I need healing. Okay. Um, well, I guess we've got to pull that lever. Well, that opened something. Or closed something. You didn't see me. Whoa! Oh dear, oh dear. There we go. That's what I wanted. Aha! Got you. Oh dear. Oh, that's not really going to do anything because it's like an area effect weapon, isn't it? Whew. That was a tough fight. Hmm. Okay, this is what opened up when I pulled that lever. I see the goodies on the ground, don't worry. This is just, I'm a role player, this is how I operate. Secret found. Another tar bead. Maybe we'll munch on some of those. A phalanx helmet. That's heavy armour, that is. Okay. Let's examine these guys and what they've got weapon um, armour-wise. You've got an evasion 7. Just wearing a peasant cap, which is protection plus 1. Ah, now that gives minus 10 evasion without heavy armour proficiency. And you don't get to heavy armor proficiency until you get to level 16. Okay. Now you have evasion 10 and a light cap on, but you've got minus 5 evasion with that. Okay. Okay, now I don't think you've got any minuses to your evasion, have you? And you've only got an evasion of 7. So, if your light cap goes to Minion, then he'll end up with an evasion of only 2, but protection 11. Then the heavy cap can go to Minion, who will have an evasion of 5, so he'll still be better off. It gives him a protection of 16. Wow, and he's wearing light, light armor there. Protection plus two, boots plus four. Um, let's, they're gonna swap shoes. <laughs> Sorry, this it suddenly strikes me as very strange behavior for people. <laughs> you can see these people just sat in the corner of a dungeon, just swapping clothes. You know. <laughs> Saying, um, well, if you wear that, then I'll wear that. And Okay, let's swap shoes now. <laughs> so, protection 13, evasion 5. Protection 14, evasion 2. Essentially, because his evasion's lower, he needs a higher protection where possible. Let's add a cloak plus 2. 
Yeah, he's already got one of them. Okay. So that leaves... The peasant cap can be put on by the thief. So it gets a protection 5 now. Evasion 21 on the thief. Now that's pretty damn good. So actually, with your evasion... You don't really need the protection, do you? So why don't we actually give some clothing to the woman? <laughs> She's getting sick of wandering around naked. <laughs> uh, we won't put any pants on her, though. <laughs> oh, it's just a ludicrous mental image. It's just—it's so good there isn't a third a third person view in this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, right, can we, um, oh, shift, I don't have shift mapped, I just wanted to pick up one of these, give it to many on to munch on, see how much it heals, 38, um, hmm, right hand clicking, nothing's happening, do I have to put it in hand? Okay, obviously you've got to get alchemy or something like that before you can actually do anything with those things. Oh, and the um, torch has gone out, so let's dump that and grab a fresh one. Sorry, I was trying to work out how to, how to do that. Okay, um, hmm. I think we need to rest for a little bit. Ooh. Oh, there's another pair of leather pants. You get to wear pants. <laughs> You'll be so happy. Okay, so the wizard's got a little bit of protection, not much. The thief will mainly, mainly dodge. And everyone else is doing okay. Aaron's evasion is really bad. Um, what I need to do is train up his armor. Three more points in armor, he'll have light armor proficiency, then he can get all the um, light, uh, light armor we've got. Manion can, can can get by on his evasion. I think it was a bonus or a benefit I gave him. See, I gave him, yeah, evasive. And I gave him a higher dex as well. Okay, and let's rest a little bit. That'll do. I really should take take the torch out of the hand before they rest. Don't know if it actually counts. Okay, so I've been there. That's where I pulled the lever, which opened that up. So I've got to go that way. Looking okay so far. Let's grab that. Don't want to run out of torches. Okay, I see a keyhole. I've got a key, haven't I? Some goodies there. What have we got? Nomad boots. And a cave nettle. Okay. What are nomad boots? Ooh. Protection plus two, resist cold plus five. Hmm. Um, I want to keep the protection on Aeron. Well, it's going to be better than your sandals. it will up your protection to 14 and give you protection from frost. Um, so, that, actually the wizard can take the, um, take the hand-me-downs. <laughs> pair of sandals. Okay, doing a little bit better now. Keeping this inventory... Tidy is a little bit, is a bit is an issue. Right, so there's a keyhole there. Grim crap. You really don't want to eat something called gri a Don't know what that did. Okay, this is getting confusing now.
I think I've discovered a circle. Okay, see, my keep left method of solving mazes gets confounded when there's a when there's a circle. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so that's where the key is. But then there was a secret notch there that I don't know what it did. I'm gonna have gonna have to go looking. Has something opened up somewhere? Oh, did I leave that torch there? So I remember pulling that lever. My nose hurts. Ooh! A golden chalice! Oh no, I gave that to the wrong person. <laughs> The thief wants to carry the the uh, the treasure. Okay, well we've got some we've got something that's worth money. Um, not sure that should be a priority right now, but okay. So that's what that. Okay, so we've got to get back to there because that's where the keyhole was. Uh, keyhole. Um, so, um, yep. Okay, that must be one of the dead ones. There were some that were sort of half burnt through before I picked them up. Ah, I went the wrong way. Right, where's the key? Oh, we're going that way. Always check. <laughs> At least the secret notches are always in the same place. The um, people who built this place obviously had a standard con contractor for their secret doors. Okay, there's a lever here. I'm tempted to not pull it until I see what's around here. Ah. Uh, like that, is it? Why the delay? One of these guys. I'm hoping I'm better armoured and weaponed this time. I'm not going to try Poison Cloud on an undead. There we go, that was a lot easier than the last time we fought one of those guys. Alright, you get your rock back. I don't really need another shield. Let's see, it's a legionary shield and spear. I've already got those. Alright, now we'll pull the lever, because I don't want to get too far away from it before I remember. Ooh, okay. There you go. Ah! Shortcut! I remember this place. <laughs> okay, well let's try this way then. Check the walls. All seems clear. Keep doing that up the um, inventory rather than calling up the spells. Whoa! Oh, 
How many of these guys are there? There are four of them! Oh my god! We can't do this! Ugh. How am I supposed to take on four of them? Okay, we've killed two of them. But Minion's about to die. Oh, wow, that was a tough fight. I didn't even know enemies could do that. You know, stand in the same 4x4 formation that I can. Oh. Wow. Um, yeah, that way around, please. I'll get confused otherwise. I feel out of breath. Okay, let's hit rest. And then we'll check on their food, and then we'll go find the um, knife that the thief threw at some point. Right, so I was in here. And I got ambushed by four skeletons. That's what was making all that noise. Okay, I think I've got... Okay, he picked up his... It was their marching feet all the time, wasn't it? And I'm in about the right area that I'd have heard it as I was wandering around. Oh, I've turned around now. There we go. Big chamber, lots of stuff. Okay, check for enemies first. Hello, you look like something from Nightmare. Oh look, a pressure plate, right? Right in front of something with its mouth open. I'll just step on that. <laughs> Checking for enemies before I... Okay, alright, let's start messing with the stuff in this chamber. Looking for things... Um, dead body? Oh, I can't loot it. Why can't I loot, loot the dead body? I'll, I'll just desecrate it instead. Hmm. I mean, you know, what I'm seeing there is some plate mail. And it won't let me take it. Oh... Let's throw a rock on it and get ready to dodge. Or not. Was there anything this way? Yeah, there was a doorway with a chain. Only a patient man can defeat demon's gaze. Right. So what, I've got to stand here looking at, uh, looking at him for a while. I'm going to investigate this portcullis first, and then we'll come back and stand and stare at him. Poison cloud isn't going to work against undead. So that's why I'm using the flame all the time. Those guys are tough. I need to maneuver more in combat against them. You know, like attack, back off until my guys recharge. Ooh, secret found. Yeah, yeah, I always go for the most interesting thing in the room last. A wooden box. Okay, it's a container. Ooh! Leather brigandine armor. Plus four protection. Nice. 
Um, not sure who's going to wear that. Now, you've got the peasant's tunic. Yeah, you don't really have much evasion anyway. You've got a hide vest. And I'm tempted to give that to Aeron. Ooh, a scroll of poison cloud, earth magic 13. Okay, and a healing potion. Okay, give that to the wizard as well. Um, the thief will put his golden chalice in the box. He can hang on to all our treasure. Right, uh, plus two, you don't really have much evasion anyway, so getting an increase in your protection. Oh, evasion can go to negative numbers. You really need that, um, you really need need that training in leather armour. The pants. Hmm. Hang on to that for the moment until you get trained. I'll give it to the thief. Okay, um... Yes, we were about to do this, weren't we? Oh, this is getting a complex map. <laughs> this, this level is huge. Um, portcullis with no way through, and stairs going down. Okay, well this is... We're obviously approaching the end of this level. Okay, sack. Um, Minion, take the sack, take a look in it. Ooh! Scroll. We have ingredients! Potion of healing is one flask and one tar bead. Mortal... Ah, there we go. Mortar and pestle. Two empty flasks, some tar beads, and cave nettles. Well, this sack obviously goes to the wizard. Leneon, you've been shirking your carrying duties. You aren't carrying anything. I mean, everyone else is, like, piled down with crap. Okay, um, well, you've got two two sacks now. That's going to be confusing. Um, oh, well, not, not, not too confusing if I keep one of them here. Alright, so... Mortar and pestle. So you need tar beads and anti venom. Right, let's. I've already got a healing potion. I think anti venom makes sense. So there you go. Okay. Right, so if I get a cave nettle and pull it out. And the empty flask. And then we go empty flask and the cave nettle. Anti-venom potion. Okay, that's a good thing to hang on to. The wizard can carry it. And then I can throw it to whoever needs it. If an individual person gets poisoned. Or is about to die because they've been being poisoned. Cool. Oh well, and I know what to do with the um, tar beads and stuff now. So that's a very good find, and I think this is the way out of the level, so... Let's just make a note of that. Down. Right, so we've got to do that, um... Patient thing now. Only the patient can defeat the something stare. Only a patient man can defeat the demon's gaze. I think you just have to stand on this platform for a long period of time. So I'm going to twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Apologise for swearing. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, at least I've got room to manoeuvre this time. Whoa. Yep. Let's keep dodging until everyone's ready again. Right, now I can hit the wig. Oh! That was a little better. All they do is drop the same... Sh uh, the same stuff over and over and over again. Secret found. Firebombs. Ooh. Well, if we come across a nice tough fight, we can firebomb them. Nice. Alright, and he wants to level up. Alright, um... Well, he should never really wear armor. I should, I should just be upping his, um dodge and evasion and so on. Uh, missile weapons, throwing weapons... He's got to get to a 4 in order to get a strength boost on that. Okay, 5 gives him bonuses to fire and shock. And I'll give him a, f a four on his throwing weapons. That seems, because because that's what I'm current current. <clears throat> excuse me, that's what I'm currently using. So nice. Don't see anything else in here. Um, but that was a secret. So. That hasn't actually helped me open this, has it? Oh, we just have to take that torch. <laughs> nice and simple. Okay. Um, right, I think that's it for this episode. Um, I may have split the last uh, the, the, uh, this session into more than one. I have no idea, but for now, that's the end of this episode, and probably this session of playing. Um, I'll see you again soon. We've made quite a bit of progression. Um, a number of them have gone up a level. In fact, I think I think they've all gone up a level at least once. We know how to throw spells. We've had some very tough fights. And we've improved our armour. Uh, we really have to train our warriors in wearing their armour. So they've got to get to eight as soon as, pos as, soon as possible. In fact, I think I might just put all of their skills into um, armor use for the next for the next few levels. I want them to be heavy armor proficient, so I can really tank them up. Well, that's it. Thank thank you for watching. I'll see you next uh, see you next time. Bye bye.